after. It's got some We The People branding on the outside there and on the inside. Um, I think the stitching seems to be really good and heavy. It looks like an actual professional stitch this. Some It does, it sits nice and snug to the body if you're gonna wear like a t-shirt over it or something, some sort of an overshirt. You can conceal with this even though it is uh, outside the waistband holster. It's sort of a mid-height, mid-ride sweat guard. It covers the trigger guard very well. The leather is depressed in for a little bit of retention there in the trigger guard and one of the things that i like about this over some other leather holsters is how number well a couple things number one the leather's sort of stiff now it's a vegetable tanned uh leather all american made uh and made from only the most patriotic cows in the united states obviously um but uh it's tough enough leather that i don't feel that there's the going to be the issue with this holster that some other softer leather holsters might have and that is over time of sweat and wear that this is going to start curling up and get into the trigger guard uh, another thing is the fit i didn't have to break this in every other leather holster i've ever had uh, no matter how much i liked it or how nice it was i've had to spend days breaking it in this fit just like this out of the box I've done zero break-in process with this and uh, it fits super super well you can find all kinds of cool stuff at we the people from the belts to t-shirts like this one I'm wearing now the independence holster their standard kydex holsters which I do I really like their standard kydex holsters especially for the budget price that they come in at uh, bacon jerky which is phenomenal their bacon jerky and uh, koozies and, and and tumblers and things like that so again